Welcome back to DA Seahorse Financial, your go-to resource for all things money-related. If you're making your mark as a freelancer, you've probably felt the balancing act of negotiating rates with clients. It's like walking a tightrope, you want to get paid fairly without scaring away potential customers. That's why we're diving into the art of effective rate negotiation for freelancers in today's video. Stick around, because we've got some awesome tips to help you glide through this process like a seasoned pro. Don't forget to follow our Instagram and Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. First tip, do your research. Kicking off with a game changer, research. If you're wondering what's the right rate for your services, you've got to dive into the market scene. Check out what the going rates are. This gives you a solid reference point and ensures your rates jive with industry norms. Second tips, understand the client's budget. Let's talk about something we all care about, budgets. It's crucial to get a handle on how much your client is willing to invest. Knowing this magic number lets you mold your rate proposal to fit their budget puzzle, making it much more tempting. Third tips, emphasize your value. Time to shine, highlight your value like it's a neon sign. Your experience, skills, and those glorious results you've achieved for past clients, flaunt them. Showcasing what you bring to the table can back up the rate you're proposing and boost your client's confidence in your talent. Fourth tips, be flexible. Here comes the flexibility dance. Yes, your time and skills are precious, but a little flexibility goes a long way. Think about tweaking your rate based on the project's size or throwing in payment options that work for both sides. It's like giving negotiation a friendly high five. The fifth tips, set boundaries. Hold your ground, folks. Setting boundaries is a must. Lay down your non-negotiables, your minimum rate, terms, and any extra charges. This stops confusion in its tracks and helps create a fair agreement from the get-go. And the sixth tips, document the agreement. Seal the deal with words on paper. Once you've got the thumbs up, Put the terms and conditions in writing. This little contract is like a roadmap, keeping everyone on the right track and steering clear of misunderstandings. So, there you have it, the freelancer's guide to negotiating rates with style. By doing your homework, understanding budgets, highlighting your awesomeness, being flexible, setting those boundaries, and locking it in with an agreement, you're all set to build solid, win-win relationships with your clients. And that's a wrap for today. If you dug these tips, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing. We're here to help you thrive in your freelance journey. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep rocking the freelance world. Don't forget to subscribe to our free blog for more exclusive content on our website dacfinancial.com.